गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन प्रोग्राम नंबर थ्री प्रोग्राम नंबर थ्री इज ऑल अबाउट जेनरेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिकसिटी बिल द मेन एम ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इज टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द यूसेज ऑफ इफ एंड एल स्टेटमेंट्स दैट इज कंडीशनल ब्रांचिंग कॉन्सेप्ट द इनपुट टू दिस प्रोग्राम इज द कंज्यूमर नेम and the number of units consumed by that particular consumer the output of this program is the bill generated based on the number of units consumed since this is conditional branching statement program this program involves number of conditions the various conditions are if the number of units consumed is less than or equal to 200 then an amount of 80 paisa per unit is charged for example if the number of units consumed are 90 then the bill charged will be 90 into 80 paisa the next condition is if the number of units consumed is in between 200 to 300 that is for example if the units consumed are 250 then the bill charged will be for the first 200 units it is 200 into 80 and for the next additional 50 units it is 50 into 90 hence the total bill charged will be 200 into 80 plus 50 into 90 the next condition is if the number of units are beyond 300 then 1 rupee per unit will be charged and if the bill amount is above 400 rupees then the customer has to pay an additional surcharge of 15% even if the consumer does not consume electricity and if the number of units consumed is equal to 0 even in that case the person has to pay a minimum of rupees 100 now coming back to the program based on these conditions first the input is the consumer name and the number of units consumed the first condition is if n less than or equal to 200 it means if n value suppose it is equal to 90 90 is less than 200 is true if it is true then the amount value will be equal to 90 into 80 and this amount will be printed here in the last as the output if not if the number of units consumed fall in this range of 200 to 300 that is suppose if the number of units consumed are equal to 250 then for the first 200 units it is 200 into 80 paisa and for the remaining additional 50 units it is 50 into 90 hence this total amount will be again printed here if not if the number of units consumed is above 300 that is think it is 350 then for the first 200 units it is 200 into 80 paisa for the next 100 units it is 100 into 90 and for the additional 50 units it is 50 into 100 that is 1 rupee it is written as 100 paisa next if the amount is greater than 400 then the person has to pay an additional surcharge of rupees 15 percent that's why we are dividing here it by 15 by 100 since we are 
dealing with pesa if we want to convert the amount bill into rupees we have to divide the amount by 100 if we have to divide the amount by 100 if the number of units consumed are zero even in that case the person has to pay a minimum of rupees 100 that is showcased here in this line that is amount is equal to amount plus 100 whatever may be the number of units consumed the amount that is the bill generated will be printed here which is our output the output which we get after the decimal point we want to keep only two digits after the decimal point hence we are using this format specifier that is point to f this completes our lab program